So, let us continue. I say, I come to the Bahamas. And for years, years upon years upon years, I ministered to the Bahamian people from corner to corner and alley to alley. And they refused to hear my cry. See the Bahamian flag? I was going to burn her, but I decided to drown her instead. And depending on what she says, I will either burn her or bring her people to deliverance. I'm Michael. I'm the one in the scripture, Daniel chapter 12. Many of you, many of you get me confused and say I'm the Antichrist. I'm a false prophet. And you say all kind of evil things against me. I tell you about your fornications and your adulteries that bring about lesbianism and homosexualities, bestialities. You Christians would go to church and say, Lord, 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 and scared to come out here. You're nothing but punk Christians. You're not real. You're this grace. You pastors in the church. You bishops. You all are this grace to the body of Christ. You better hear me. You all make people go from God. You all make people run from God. You all make people think that Jesus is a joke. You'll cause a destruction in the church, a destruction in the home, a destruction in business. You'll are insensitive, institutionalized, traditionalized, bastardized. You go on the ecclesiastical authority, you're religious bigots. You're racial bigots and your national patriotic bigots. Your religions, your nations, your races is nothing without the spirit of the living God. Remember that. Bahamas. Jesus came and he came to the Jews and the Jews did not want any part of him. This was in the East. And now, Michael, Michael, your prince, your defender, your guardian has risen in the Bahamas in the West. In the Bahamas in the West. Will the Bahamas forsake our son? Will the Bahamas come and fulfill the prophecy of Daniel? that Michael, your prince, your defender, your guardian has risen to bring you out of your sins, to show you the light, to let you know the truth, to let you see the way, to let you know that your God is here now, that if your God is not here now, that is spirit that you cannot see with naked eyes. If your God is not here now, if your Christ is not here now, if the spirit of Jesus Christ is not here now, then God and Jesus are liars. And that's impossible. I come to fulfill the prophets. I come to fulfill all prophecy. That in the latter days of calamity, Michael, your prince shall rise. I show the Bahamas. I warn the Bahamas, I tell the Bahamas that even in their flag with the three M's when it is raised. But the Bahamas won't listen. I tell the pastors and the bishops, you're going against the word of God if you go against me. You're going against the way of God if you go against me.
We have to take out. I don't want to go in too low to bear up my wallet and all that. And all my keys. But I want to go in deep enough so that I can make you feel what it is to come to your knees. You see this fly? As I hold this fly, let me put this on camera, rotate, damn it. I just want to make sure I send the right message. I check. I check with all your politicians. I check with a lot of your pastors. I ran up and down to and fro in the land. I ran up and down to and fro in the land. I spoke with your government officials, your prime minister, the former, the former and the latter, and the now prime minister of the Bahamas. I contested in the general elections against Lyndon Oscar Pinling in 1987, and he ran from me. I met Hubert Ingram, but he ran from me and ran from the truth. He cannot be a man. Perry Christie proved to be another punk. A prime minister that runs from the truth. Hubert Minnis is none other but a cut from the same fabric. Just another sissy of the Westminster system of institutionalized slavery. Just another puppet. Look at your flag. All you patriotic people who believe that the flag is more important than the person, who believe that the flag is more than the people, the people is the flag, not the flag is the people. The church, the people is the church, not the building. And so is the people representative of the nation, not just the flag. And when your nation is in corruption, when your nation is in corruption, you see the Bohemian flag? Look at her. Look at her. In the water. Look at her. Look at the Bohemian flag. She is floating. Look at her. She floats. You see this? You know why she's floating? She's floating because the truth in her midst. That's why she's floating. Because the truth is in her midst. I'm bearing up my wallet, and I don't want to bear up my wallet. Now, I want you to understand something. I'm drowned in the Bahamas. You understand me? You understand me? I'm going to drown the Bahamas. You understand me? I'm going to purge the Bahamas. I'm going to clean the Bahamas. Nassau, Bahamas is going to be an example. The capital city of the Bahamas will be an example. And from this drowned, purged, cleansed, and washed nation. I dip her seven times one. I dip her again. Two. I dip her again. I baptize the Bahamas. Three. I baptize the Bahamas in the name of Jesus Christ, Michael. I baptize the Bahamas being the nation to come. I baptize the Bahamas. Going on to number five. Five. I say I baptize the Bahamas in the name of Jesus Christ, Michael. All glory, hallelujah, as I baptize this nation.
seven times. It's the last time. As I drown the Bahamas, as I clean the Bahamas, as I wash the Bahamas. Now, as I bring the Bahamas up now, a new nation. As I bring the Bahamas up now, a new nation. I want you to see this. I'm gonna lay the Bahamian flag down vertically for you. Vertically for you. I'm gonna lay it down vertically so you could see it. And I'm gonna show you some things that are supernatural. I'm gonna show you something that is supernatural with the Bahamian flag. Now, first of all, the Bahamas, the national anthem says, lift up your heads to the rising sun, Bahamaland, the rising sun. Hear my voice, the rising sun. Now, when you go to the book of Daniels, you will see that and it says in Daniel 12 that Michael, your prince, your guardian, your defender, your deliverer shall rise in the last days and deliver the people. Now, hear me. When you go to 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16, you will hear that the Lord thy God himself shall come with a loud voice and a command with the voice of the archangel and the trump and also you will hear when Jesus said that if you overcome the world and hold fast to my truth to the end I will make you as a pillar in the temple of my God and you'll no longer go out and I will write the name of my God on you and the name of the new city of the, uh, well my new name my new name which means Jesus have a new name now Michael and his angels in Revelation chapter 12, you will see where Michael, well, there was war break out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the devil, against the dragon, and defeated the devil, defeated the dragon. Now I want you to hear this and see this. When you raise the Bohemian flag, it is said, lift up your head to the rising sun. Now, when you raise the Bohemian flag, when you fly it like this, instead of flying it horizontally like it's normally flown, when you fly the Bahamian flag vertically, this is what happens. When you raise up a new nation, this is what happens. First of all, I want you to see the three M's, the three M's in the Bahamian flag. See the three M's. Look. Look at my finger as it go up, as it come down, as it go up, as it come down on the end. You will see there are three M's in the Bahamian flag that way. Okay? Look. That's one big M, right? That's one big M, right? Let me show you the second M in the yellow now. You see the second M in the yellow? That's obvious, isn't it? That's obvious, the second M. The first M and the second M is pretty obvious. Now let me show you with your third eye so that you can see the third M. First of all, without even touching it, I want you to look at two big blue legs. Look at the two gigantic big blue legs. Look at all of that. All that is one leg going up, coming cross, going up, and coming down again. One big blue M. That's the third M. That's the biggest M. Now, you want to know what those three M's stand for? So you can know that this is a supernatural thing you're dealing with. The small M is me, the man. Me, the coward. Me, the empty vessel. Me, the servant of the Lord. Me, the messenger of the Lord. Me, the angel of the Lord. Spirit of the Lord in me. The angel of the Lord in me. In this man. One M is for Michael, the son of man of Nassau. New Providence, Bahamas. The other M is for Michael, the archangel. The second M is for Michael the Archangel. The third big M, the main big M, is for Michael, the Creator, who is, who incarnated in the life of Jesus Christ.
I have shown you this so that you could know. Don't let me have to burn the Bohemian flag. Donald Trump might have a problem with me right now. He say I burnt that. He, he might tell me that that my nation should disown me, and he might he might revoke my presence here in America. If that's what he's choosing, and then I will have to drown and burn America. The Bahamas, as an example, for the rest of the world, turn from your sins. Turn from your fornication. Turn from your adultery. Turn from your mediocrity. Turn from your hypocrisy. Turn from your LGBT. Turn from your killing baby. You know why we kill babies? We kill babies because we don't want to marry the fathers and the mothers of the children. We don't want to get married before we have sex. That's why we kill the babies. We feel that it's okay to have sex out of wedlock. And we are innocent in this because everybody taught us this. We're not bad people. We're good people. We're doing what we feel is right in a world filled with hypocrisy and shame. But we're not doing what is right because we're ignorant. But we're innocently ignorant because our parents didn't teach us. That's my job. The pastors don't teach you. That's my job. The mothers and the fathers they have abandoned their trust. Don't be religious. Be spiritual. The spirit of God is over all religion. Don't be patriotic. But be patriotic. But you must be global. Because if you don't care about your brother because he is another race or nation, you are lost as he is. Not only be global, but be universal. Because there is a universe. And we all have a family in it. I have done what I had to do. And I'm going to tell you all right now. I'm going to wash the Bahamas clean. In the name of Jesus Christ, Michael. Everyone in the Bahamas that refused to accept the truth according to the living word of God in the scripture. Everyone in the Bahamas and indeed around the world. This is my warning to you. Come now. Come now. You're going to have dreams. You're going to have visions. You're going to see my face. Just as my wife had seen my face. Just as our mother had seen my face. Just as our best friend had seen my face. Just as our Miles Monroe and the crew of Bahamas Faith Mission Ministry in the Bahamas went down in a plane crash because they rejected the truth. When you reject the truth that is light, then darkness come in. That is life, then death come in. Many of you are afraid to talk about death. But all around you there is death. You don't know what's happening with your weather. You think you got it made and it will never hit you. You are liars. There will be no stone left unturned. Every life shall be tried. Every life. I come with a new name. I come to tell Israel, you rejected me. Bahamas, accept me and know that I speak the word of he that is within me that is greater. 
Nor I have been begotten by him. Nor I have been written about in the scripture, prophesied of by Daniel and by Jesus himself, that he will give me the rod of iron to rule the nations. I have the doctrines, the philosophies for the healing of the nations. If you are big and fat and you eat too much and you look down on those that drink too much, you are a hypocrite. The glutton is not better than the drunkard. If you practice anal sex and say that it's on a woman and you are a man and it's okay because it's between a man and a woman, I say you are still a sissy. A nanny packer, a stool packer, a feces packer. You are a sort of mite. Oh, I am very respectful. Oh, yes, we make sure here. I tell your children. Okay, listen to me. Baby, we intelligent people, right? Oh, listen to me. No, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm saying to you something that makes sense. No, 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 no. Don't Sir, about if I listen, if you don't teach your children, I'm not, I'm not I, am I talking any anal sex? I work, I work I'm. Ma'am. No, nope. ma'am. If that's how you feel, no problem. But I just want you to know intelligently. I'm not speaking it, ma'am. You look like a very intelligent lady. Might I say something intelligent to you? Ma'am, if you call, I'm trying to talk to you. No. And you saying you're gonna? Yes, I understand. And I am respecting what you're saying. Well, if you give me a chance to speak, ma'am. No, this is what I'm saying, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, but I'm. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. Because you'll persecute me. You'll call police on me. You'll cause people to kill me if you are a bad mind. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying let me speak my peace. Otherwise, remember us as black people. We were never given a chance to speak. Yes. Yes. No problem, ma'am. No problem. Let me say something. So you can understand. Okay? I have kids. I have kids. If I don't teach my children about sex, you, you know what's going to happen? The world is going to teach them. And you know what's going to happen to their minds when they see what's out there? Mom, I'm not saying anything about that. Why are you being like that? No, that's Ocean Rescue. He fire rescue. I'm going to call the police. Mom, I'm saying if you don't teach your children about it, if you don't teach your children about it, you see what happens when you're trying to do a good work? You get threatened. And I teach the children because the children don't know the difference. They can get, they can get, the children get corrupt because they offer candy to them because you haven't told them anything. You see? Yes, sir. How are you doing? You need to come down, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. I was on. Area, so you need to come yes, down. Yes, absolutely. Okay, you know no, the lady was telling area. me, but I was talking about okay. sex around the children and I was trying to tell her that if we, if we go and don't teach our children about okay, sex, what we're doing is the world is going to teach okay. them. You see? And what happened is when you're talking about these things, she wasn't getting mad at okay. me. Okay. I was you preaching. She was loving. Right? Oh, I go in. I live in. She was, she was happy, but I was I'll teaching. There, okay? And she was saying, thank you. But when I mentioned, I say, you got to teach your children because if the, if the world is practicing uh, anal sex and saying it's good and you don't teach your children that it's not, then your children is going to be confused. Right? Do you understand me? Yes. No, yes, I understand. I leave in. I leave in. But I, you understand what I'm saying, right? Much love, man. You can't talk about God no more and be real. Much love. You get people trying to threaten you. Threaten you. We as black people should never be threatening each other like that. Fuck. Oof. Oof. Fuck you, bro. Well, you see what happens, right? Here it is. I'm trying to teach about sex before marriage, right? Teach the people that to practice sex before marriage is dangerous. That sound, that sound was so hot and I'm barefoot. To practice sex before marriage is dangerous, okay? And I'm having a lady who says she's a police officer and she's saying I shouldn't be talking anything about sex in front of children. But yet they're introducing this to the children in the schools. You see? Excuse me, sir. Hello, sir. If anybody... Oh, boy. Forget it. I love you guys. I'm finished. Okay, you see what kind of world we're living in. 
okay, in a very hypocritical world, a dangerous world, with people who think with minds that are destructive to their, and then thinking that they're doing good, but they're doing evil. They're calling evil good. A man like me, they will chase and call the police on me. A man like me that speaks the truth and will let you, so that you can go and tell your children, so that you could let them know, hey, look here, the world is teaching them otherwise. The world is teaching them you're being exposed to all kinds of things. Teach your children what is sex and what is not sex. Tell them that they must not have any sex before they get married, because anything that they equate with sex, then they're going to go and do. It depends on what they feel about it and what is fair to them around. And there's no godliness being fair to the people right now so if you don't teach your children about sex and all that then they're going to be guided into the world system of what is sex and then they're going to be feeling like they want to be a boy when they're a girl and a girl when they want to be a boy and then they're going to be looking at people like me and calling me evil and then calling the people that are really evil good I'm finished with my work I've done my work with the Bahamas and I've sent the message to the Bahamas the Bahamas should come come to Jesus Christ Michael or the Bahamas I'm sorry for you guys especially you in Nassau okay Especially, and after this, you will come. You will come or you will burn afterwards. I can tell you that right now. I love you all with all my heart and soul, but my love for you all ain't, ain't over my love for my God. My obedience to you all is not over my obedience to my God. You understand me? Everything I live and I die for is with my God. And my marriage, even my marriage of this world, okay, with my wife, is not as important as my marriage to my God. You all understand me? And if my right hand offend me, I'll cut it off. If my nation offend me, I will cut it off. I don't care what it is. You understand me? You listening to me? There's only one thing that matters to me in my life, and that is my God in me. You all, you all better understand me. And I'm going to tell you all, I'm ready to take the world on. And I will take you all head on. And I will break you all with the rod of iron. I will dash you all to pieces like a potter's vessel. I will fix the Bahamas and fix the planet. In the name of Jesus Christ, Michael. And remember, hallelujah. Allah and Yah must come to Alleluia. Allah and Yah must come to Alleluia. That's Allah and Yah. Listen, Alleluia is Allah and Yah together as one. And Michael rode a boat to shore. Alleluia. Michael rode a boat to shore. Alleluia. Remember me. What the hell am I doing? It's supposed to stop. There's the stop button on this thing. Share. Share to Facebook. Okay.